situation where you find that they are not necessarily uh, tribal or regional. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is Daybreak on Trust Television. Now let's take a look at our dailies on Daybreak this morning, starting with the lead newspaper, which is the Daily Trust newspaper. Um, right at the top uh, on page 7, you'd find criminals conniving with monarchs in Bochi. That's according to um, a governor. And the headline there states how bandits killed dozens in Sokoto market. And the writer is saying governor says 43 die blames attacks on Zamfara operation. Another writer is saying different bandits groups mobilized to launch attack. Uh, security challenge surmountable, that's according to Sultan. Uh, and you'd also find troops gone down 10 bandits in Kaduna. And on page 4, you'd see APC Congresses. Implosion looms as losers fight back. Arigwe Shola's camp goes to court. We are authentic, not parallel. That's according to Shiko's faction. Mm -hmm. Reconciliation panel appeals to aggrieved members. Uh, you'd also find Nigeria records 33 new COVID-19 deaths. Uh, these are some of the stories on the Daily Trust. Really very, very sad events. That, that we are seeing that the death toll in that attack is rising to 43. Um, for how long? That's the question that you know one will want to ask. For how long? Just for how long are we going to have to go through this? Uh, seeing the numbers of people killed almost on a daily basis, you know. And when you talk about what's the response to that, mostly you just see statements uh, condemning attacks and all of that, then what next? You know, Nigerians need to feel more secure. Nigerians need to, you know, see their security forces work more for them. Yes, uh, there quite a lot of effort is being put in place, you know, as far as the fight against insurgency and banditry and the rest of them. but. We need to see more people. The safety of people needs to be guaranteed. I think that's the, the the only thing that we can say, you know, as far as this story is concerned. Let's take about. Let's take a look at uh, the next story here. The Nigerian Tribune is next, and uh, we are seeing some of the stories here, uh, like the one on page six saying cement prices rise in Southwest. You'd also find fully vaccinated Powell, former U.S. Secretary of State, dies from COVID complications. You'd also find Oloru Yomi, Fashala, Mongunu, Irabo, Kari, Headline Editors Conference on Security. Also, you'd find also below the nameplate there, 13 years after Fiditi gets new king. Uh, also, Lagos, hashtag NSAS panel, sitting ends as more than 20 victims compensated. That's on page 26. Twitter, Twitter recommendations to affect other social media platforms. That's according to the federal government, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, there saying. The lead story on the Nigerian Tribune, Buhari says insecurity declining. 30 feared killed in Sokoto market. At Raida, FG takes delivery of final batch of Tucano jets. That's on page 8. So much ado about these Tucano jets, really. I hope that, <laughs> I hope that by the time that we get delivery, we, get, we receive the see. complete delivery, right. we'll see a turn in, of events in the fight against uh, insecurity. The writer there says, FG takes the okay yeah that's that's the last story there I took and then uh, aggrieved APC members adamant that's uh, on page twenty two the writer says take party to court in Oshun uh, Okorocha spits fire party fixes Saturday for aborted Congress in Oyo Nigeria World Bank to raise thirty million dollars for vaccine plant. That's according to the Vice President Yemi Oshibajo. Uh, that's that.
uh, on the Nigerian Tribune this morning. Okay, let's take a look at some of the stories on the Nation newspaper this morning. Um, you'd find on page 29, police no to end SARS protest in Lagos. Anxiety over clash of groups. And you find on page 6, Mawlud Nabi, President Sultan Governors Khan, greet Muslims. Uh, today is a public holiday because it's Mawlud Nabi, the birth of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, and you would find on page 30, Buhari eulogizes ex-US icon Powell, 1937 to 2021. Top media chiefs for Guild of Editors Conference. And you'd also find the big headline there saying, Kanu slammed with more treason charges. And the writer is saying, South East governors, Igbo leaders ready for dialogue with federal government on separatist group leader. And you'd also find insecurity, others, U.S. joins forces with Nigeria. We are pushing back insecurity, says Buhari. Six more Super Tucano jets in. That's uh, the story you just um, read mm. earlier on. Yeah. And on the big picture there, you would see the pictures of the Super, uh, super Tucano jets you know, on the nation there, uh, newspapers. But, you know, while you say that uh, we are pushing back on insecurity, the ordinary Nigerian may say, well, we just had an attack that killed 43 people in Sokoto it's State. Done. You know, so. In that regard. Exactly. So uh, we need to see a decline in the number of such attacks. We need to you know, stop experiencing these abductions here and there, abduct, release, abduct, release, just like we saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. Some students from the uh, Nasara State University, University you know, abducted and all of that. So uh, there has to be a change of narrative. Uh, the next story that we'll be looking at on the Punch newspaper, the first one at the very top says, Nigeria producing $18 billion cassava missing in global markets. That's according to the federal government. You'd find that on page 19. And then less than 4% of Nigerians will be vaccinated by 2021, according to the vice president on page 9. FG budgets 104 billion naira to maintain purchase generators uh, in 2022. Uh, you would find the right that they're saying finance ministry uh, takes lion's share, votes 82 billion naira for generators. Well, I, I don't know what what to say about this <laughs> because I mean, uh, even government cannot even supply electricity for itself. So, where are we really uh, as far as the issue of power generation and power supply is concerned? Um, the lead story on the nation on the Punch newspaper: APC convention on the threat. Aggrieved party members mm -hmm. cite ruling against Buni. The riders there, Buni's panel not recognized by law. Activities will be illegal. That's according to Equity Group. We informed National Secretariat about our Congress, says Lagos, uh, Lagos for Lagos. Okay. Uh, Keamo's group leads for appeal court, heads for appeal court against Omar Gege's faction. Uh, you'd see also uh, robbers crash kill UI students. Colleagues call for prayers. Uh, 918 health centers shut as cholera cases soar. It's dangerous linking your SIM to another subscriber's NIN. The NCC is warning. You'd find that on page 20 for those who are fond of doing that. I think it's time to take caution. Uh, imagine you are linking your SIM to somebody's NIN and then the person goes ahead to commit one form of crime or the other. It bounces back to you. That's you know. terrible. Why do you uh, even do that in the first place? You know, Nigerians <laughs> always try to be smart. Some will try to monetize it, really. You know, for you, for them not to go through the whole process of getting you know, the NIN thing, it's stressful and all of that. So they rather just go pick up a SIM card 
use another person's NIN to register. That's, that's <laughs> terrible, if you say. Uh, and, and some people are making money, you'll be surprised. Some people are making money out of this, you know, by, by doing this. Because people want to avoid the process of doing the, you know, NIN registration because of the stress and all of that. So you just go somewhere, you pay, and then you get your SIM registered. I think the government should do something about this since we're already having a tip-off of this kind of activity. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, at the very bottom on the Punch newspaper, you'd find, say, uh, many traders killed as gunmen open fire on Sokoto market. Uh, masked gunmen killed uh, LASG director, steal phone files. You'll also see Idil Maulud report declining in security. Buhari tells media, Lawan governors preach peace all right so the media is being urged by the president to report stories of the declining cases of insecurity well as it is if we, if we, if we see that we we'll report uh, that. definitely <laughs> if it is about decline if the report is there we'll definitely report it mm -hmm. i think that's what the media is out to do all right uh, that's that on the punch newspaper this morning Okay, let's take a final paper, uh, looking at The Guardian. Um, you'd find on page 19, 35 years after, stakeholders want Delic, you are immortalized. Uh, and you'd find on page 3, UN delists a civilian JTF from armed groups recruiting kits. And you'd also find on page 3, finally, government scraps DPR, PPPRA, PEF for new agencies. Uh, you'd also see on page 20 tributes as former U.S. Secretary of State dies of COVID-19. Sad, isn't it? I've been seeing quite mm -hmm. a lot of tributes going on in mm -hmm. international media. Yeah. Uh, and the headline there says, Arigbe Sholas Camp drags Buni others to court over APC Congress. Uh, and the writer is saying, I will respond to your false allegations in due time. That's according to Laya Mohammed telling Kwara government. Stakeholders finger a motion in cracks in Oyo APC, other states. You'd also see Ozodima conducted birthday party, not Congress, says Okorocha. <laughs> Sounds Sorry. That's funny. <laughs> really hilarious. You know. uh, okay. Uh, another writer is saying PDP secretaryship consensus threatens as more aspirants emerge from Southwest. Uh, and you'd also find security alert Delta fault inclusion in UK's travel advisory to 12 states. Uh, Two British nationals rearranged an alleged $9.6 billion PNID contract scam. These are some of the stories on the Guardian newspaper this morning. Yeah, very interesting, really, uh, about some of these stories. Uh, Arabe Shola drags Buni others to court. Yes, we are now saying the friction in the political parties like yesterday mm -hmm. uh, our reviewer highlighted yesterday about the conflicts that we're seeing towards the 2023 election uh, that just shows you the quality of you know individuals that we have you know in you know in our yeah, political parties bad. unable to settle frictions within, within the party you know without necessarily escalating and going to courts and all of that you know, people say, well, politics is all about interest. Yes, it's all about interest. But at what point will national interest, or I'll say the common interest, take, take over? Right. At what point will individual interest step aside for the common good? I think we need to define that. That's very, very important. If we don't have quality internal democracy, in our political parties, then there's just there's no so way we can have good leaders, so you know, people who are selfless and all of that. So I hope that our political parties will begin to look at internal mechanisms of settling conflicts, you know, yeah, and exactly. all of that. Uh, all right, then other stories of interest, you know, on uh, these uh, newspapers that we are looking at. Finally, government scraps DPR, 
PPRA, PEF for new agencies. Recall that the Petroleum Industry Act passed, you know, will see the, uh, I would say, well, scrapping of some of these agencies and the creation of new ones. Uh, but again, there are reports like we saw yesterday that are suggesting some kind of merger, yes. you know, for some government institutions uh, so that the cost of running governance will be drastically reduced. We hope that that report will be looked into. Yesterday, the Daily Trust led with that story. In case you missed that, you I can, can check, check it out. out. Uh, so uh, it's very important that we do that so that uh, instead of, you know, borrowing, borrowing, and continually borrowing, we need to find a way of generating, you know, resources, you know, without necessarily going all the way, you know, to borrow and all of that.